The relatively new digital modes created by Joe Taylor, K1JT, Nobel Prize winner in physics for a discovery of a new type of pulsar, have taken ham radio by storm for their notable weak signal performance. He developed several new modes for things like Earth Moon Earth, Meteor Scatter, and weak signal propagation reporting. One called JT65-HF, originally designed for Earth Moon Earth, has been put to use by hams on the HF bands exploiting its incredible ability to decode a nearly inaudible signal and is in use almost as much as the venerable PSK-31. Another mode called Weak Signal Propagation Reporting or Whisper allows one to transmit and receive very narrow and timed beacons and report and be reported to WhisperNet, an online real-time propagation map much like PSK Reporter. To use the JT modes, one only needs a sound card and a radio. However, there are a few caveats. One, the radios, the modes transmit at time intervals. Whisper, for example, is a 110.6 second long or 1 minute 50 second long 6 hertz wide FSK signal. For the program to work, all stations must have synchronized clocks so that the beacons sent at even numbered minutes can be sent and decoded. Simply making sure your computer clock is synced to the common internet time servers takes care of this problem. Other modes, like the quick bursting uh, meter scatter mode FSK441, also follow strictly time sequences. And caveat number two the modes often have transmit times longer than the minutes, so if any transmitter instabilities or drift is apparent, then it could have an effect on the signal. For example, uh, the drift can cause an inability to decode or you can drift over other signals in the 200 Hz window causing them to be unreadable. As you can see here, this beacon has drift and here you can see that it's my beacon. Thanks to a friend, Joe, K0OG, for pointing this out to me. I googled the matter and found that the IC746 has a drifting problem. Over a period of two minutes, the transmitter drifts up to 5 Hz whilst mine averages 2 to 4, as you can see here on WhisperNet. The reason is because the radio's oscillator gets heated by the power amp as it's transmitting and cooled by the fan, causing a change in temperature over time. I searched for a solution and found one of them is to buy ICOM's ovenized crystal oscillator, which prevents this, it's, it's constantly heated, so it prevents this temperature change, which costs $150. And the other solution is to cover the offending oscillator in cotton balls to prevent, uh, to insulate it and to prevent this drift. So I'm going to give that a try. Here's the IC746. I'm going to take it apart following some instructions I found on the internet and uh, see if I can get access to the RF unit which has the oscillator on it. Step one, take out the 18 screws that hold the radio together. Screws. Step two, flip the radio on its top and unveil the bottom. Look, the bottom. Here we can see some capacitors, resistors, some ICs, our filters, some loops and things, and, and what we're looking for is right here, I believe. So we're going to take the RF unit apart and see if we can get some cotton balls stuck into that. Step four, remove the four screws on the gray cover covering up the RF unit. Step five, pack cotton into the rectangular metal box shield that's surrounding the 16 megahertz oscillator being careful not to damage this little uh, inductor here all right here we go put some cotton in the hole peel cotton apart a little bit put some over here i don't even think we need any more i think that'll do it Step six, can't really make six with one hand, but I'm trying my hardest. Anyway, put it all back together and turn it on and then transmit a whisper signal um, for the duration it takes, maybe a few times to get a beacon out. You know, try it on a band that's open at the time. And go on the WhisperNet data database and look at your call and if your um, stations are reporting you still have drift of over two, over one, then either you didn't do some right, or there's another problem at hand. Uh, maybe you look at the power supply voltage over time, 
or maybe there's another oscillator that's messing up or maybe it's your sound card who knows hopefully this is gonna work for me all right so here we are on the second day of the new year 8 15 a.m the sun's just about well it has came up and i've got my station set back up and beaconing to whisper on 10 meters um 20 watch light now just to get it out and see if uh see if the heating because i wanted to get hot see if uh, we've improved on drift and as far as i can tell as opposed to these beacons that were a couple days ago that had a drift of negative three negative four um, hertz um, the past couple of stations have seen a marketable or a noticeable improvement uh, coming back coming up to negative two and negative one so i'm gonna let it beacon for a few more hours and uh, give it start to see if I can get an average to see if this fix is really worth opening your radio. Okay, I got a haircut and we've let Whisper run for several hours now. It's 2.07 um, and we've got good results. Here you can see the beacons from the uh, first part where they were definitely drifting. You got negative 3, negative 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 3, blah 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 right before the uh, grid square right here. And uh, these show a bad drip, averaging about three and a half. Now, if you go up here to the top, you can see that the problem has been essentially fixed. We've got one, zero, 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 negative one, negative on and on and on. So it looks to me that the cotton ball trick did the trick for me. Uh, definitely take this trick into consideration if you have an IC746. Um, if you're a regular like a SSB, AM, FM, uh, CW, or other digital modes like uh, FPSK31, uh, RIDI, and the other modes supported by programs like HRD and FL Digi, then you don't necessarily need to worry about the uh, the frequency stability uh, in the IC746. Um, but if you want to get into it in, into the JT modes, where it's pretty important to stay on frequency and stay on time then definitely take this trick into consideration and you know all in all to get the most out of your transmitter fill it full of cotton 73 from n0 ssc